Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can easily implement these simple filtering options for your blogs, projects, galleries or anything that you need it for. So basically I have like 40 items here and I want my users to navigate faster to find what they need. So they can click around and they can see only what they are actually looking for. So okay, so let's go back to the builder and start doing that. Here I already have a static part of what we are building today, so I will not need to start from scratch. So I will just implement filtering options on already existing data. So to start implementing this, first we need to install plugin called Simple Filtering. So if I go to the settings here, I can go Browse Plugin and find Simple, simple Filtering and install it. And you are ready to build. And as you can see here, filtering exists of two parts. So we have filters here and we have projects grid here. So we want with these buttons to filter items which are inside of this div. So first thing that we need to do is to set ID to our grid, which is parent of our items. So in this case, I already set this ID to be projects for this div, which is holding all of my items. And now I can go to filters div which is holding my buttons and set transform to be simple filter. And if I open settings of simple filter now, you will see that I am asked to enter parent ID of our data, which is uh, this div below. And we gave it the ID of projects. So let's enter that. We will set projects and that's it. This active filter is not is optional. So I will explain it let, later how it works for now. Let's just leave it on this. So we'll set that. Now we need to set attribute to all of our buttons. And attribute is data filter. So let's click on first item and go to the advanced tab and set attribute to be data filter. And for our all button, we will just put asterisk because I want when user selects this to show him all the items I have. So let's go like that. For this one, I will put kitchen. Then we have a bedroom. And we have a modem. Now everything on top is done. We need to fix bottom part in order for this to work. And how we are going to do that? We are going to add paragraph or span or whatever you like, which is going to hold the name of our filters. So below this, let's add one paragraph, which is going to be in default, let's say kitchen. And now we can change this to appropriate category. So here I can put uh, like bedroom and let's put bedroom on couple of items. doesn't matter. And now what I want to do is to put modern to be additional category. So I want to duplicate this one. So I'll just add one more para paragraph here. And I will set default to be none because I don't want this to be uh, mandatory. I just want on some of the items to put like tag modern, which is additional tag, I mean category. So let's put modern on couple of items. And that's it. Now we have a couple of categories already added. Now only thing that is left to do is to add categories to these two paragraphs. And category is data filter. We should add this uh, class to both of our paragraphs in this case. And that's it. Now we can hide this if we, will, if we want, but I will just leave it here for now. So you can see when I'm clicking around that it is working. So if I open now test page, this should be working, just you don't see what is selected currently. So let's fix that and select this filter and set here where you are selecting usually hover, we can select active state and let's set active state to be golden and set color to be white. And now 
it's much better. So now when I'm clicking around, everything is working perfectly. And the only thing that I want to explain for the end is that active filter option. So let's say I want my kitchen to be default category. I don't want to show everything to user at first. I want only kitchen to show. Or maybe I don't have a filter all at start. I only have kitchen, bedroom and modern. And maybe I want just to start with kitchen for some reason. So what I would need to do is to click on simple filter here and set active filter to start with kitchen. And now when I refresh a website, that's not the correct page, this one, it is going to start with the kitchen. And now I can click two other filters. But when I first visit the website, it is going to be kitchen as we set it before. Okay, that should be it. This was pretty simple tutorial because this plugin is very simple. It's just a simple filtering options, but uh, hopefully it might uh, help you in your use case. If you have any idea what plugins we can make next, please share in comments below or go to our forum and share it in our wish list. And we will try to make it as soon as possible.